Hey everybody, welcome back to another DevX tutorial. And today's topic is going to be publishing Tableau workbooks. Uh, we're gonna be publishing both TWB files and TWBX. And both of these are really the same kind of workbook. They are connecting to a uh, data source that we already have published on Tableau server. It's gonna be this guy right here, Gemini prices one hour. And we can see that this is a Google BigQuery table and we've published this data source already and it has a live connection to this table. So publishing can get more complex than this. Like let's say you have credentials embedded in your workbooks and you're publishing, things can get a little bit tricky, especially if you have a combination of uh, different connections that connect to different things. Um, so for today, we're gonna take this publishing conversation one step at a time. And the step we're covering today is that we're publishing a workbook and that workbook connects to a data source that is published to our Tableau server and already has a connection established. This will be the same approach also, by the way, if you have, uh, let's say an extract file or a hyper file that's published up to your server, you would follow the same steps you're gonna see here. In this case, we're connecting to a database. So let's move forward and let's call out really quickly the, the endpoints. We always like to do that in these videos. So the endpoint that we're using here is the publish workbook endpoint. So then in the Tableau API lib library, which is the library that uh, we're going to use to help us communicate um, our Python code to Tableau server, uh, that's Tableau API lib that's bridging the gap there for us it's going to be implementing its own method that we're going to just see is the same publish workbook, except in the library it will be publish underscore workbook. Um, you'll get the hang of that. So we look at this endpoint and all of its documentation here, and basically what this tells us is if for some reason this library didn't do what you needed it to do, or if Tableau's own Tableau server client library didn't do what you needed it to do, you could come here and you could build your own solution, um, but it is going to be a little bit complex. Like for example, how are you going to climb this little mountain? The maximum size of a file that can be published in a single request is 64 megabytes. Well, then you're going to initiate a file upload and you're going to publish multiple uh, smaller files in batches. And how do you do that? Well, you'd have to read the documentation here to do that and to program in any of these optional flags, which a library is going to have, for the most part, already done for you. So let's put the documentation to rest for now, and let's, uh, let's come poke this Python code a little bit. So we are in a Jupyter Notebook now, and because we're going to be using Tableau API lib, we're going to import that, and uh, we're also going to import the querying section of this library um, so that we can figure out some information down here, like which project are we actually publishing to. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let me expose all my credentials to you so you can log in and uh, steal all my demo data if you wanted to. Now this, uh, this guy I'll, I'll change by the time that um, I publish this video but I do wanna fully expose this configuration information in case this is your first time uh, using Tableau API lib to establish a connection to your server. I'm not gonna go into the details here because we've covered that in another video. So if you do want to get all the ins and outs of how to connect to your environment, then check out the getting started video that's linked in the description of this one. Uh, just a couple basics though. This is the environment that I'm planning on interacting with. So um, the details here, you could also provide a username and password, but I do recommend if possible, get yourself a personal access token. That way, if like me, you expose all that information to someone, it's much easier to just delete that personal access token and build a new one. So we, what we do down here is we uh, up above imported Tableau server connection, and this is a Python class that's going to uh, build a connection to our environment for us so that from this point forward, we can just interact with this thing, this connection object that's storing all the 
stuff that our uh, configuration details and blah, blah, blah uh, need in order to communicate with our server. So let's define an instance of this after I define my configuration. Um, now we can use that instance of our connection to sign in and this response 200, of course you could go out to the REST API documentation and you could see whether this is good news or bad news. In this case, we know that this is good. That means that we were successfully signed in. And if we are successfully signed in, then we can start making use of this querying stuff. Why am I doing this? Well, it's because when we get down to a later step where we publish our workbook, you have to know which project you're publishing to. So I figure why not just show this where we define uh, a projects data frame, which contains all the details about the projects on our server, or specifically on the site that we logged into in our server. And so now I can see one of these pieces of information I'm going to need is the project ID. Uh, we, we need that when we're publishing and we don't just name the project, we don't call it out by name, we call it out by ID, but that's no problem because all that information lives here side by side. So in this case, I'm going to be using a project that I have named Publishing Tutorials. So if we go back out here to my environment, we can see that this project that I'm going to be pushing stuff to is Publishing Tutorials. Let's also go ahead and delete these, uh, these workbooks so that we can verify when I do publish them that they are uh, new pieces of content that have been published up to my server. And uh, in this case, I'm just grabbing the ID value of this project named Publishing Tutorials. And we can see that project ID here. In fact, if you compare this project ID to the value over here under the ID column, you'll see that they match. And now that I have that project ID, the publishing part becomes really easy for me. Uh, we can see down here that I am using this publish underscore workbook method. So why is it named that? Well, this library just tries to take whatever the REST API endpoints are, and it just converts that functionality. Like if we're publishing a workbook, we just translate that same description into snake case. So underscore, uh, in between the words. So publish workbook. What do we need to pass in? We need to pass in um, a bunch of things. Whoops, don't want to print that. Meant to uh, take a look at my parameters here. We can see that there are optional parameters you can use. So maybe in other videos we might explore some of these uh, when we see the, the really nasty kind of publishing scenarios. But today let's keep it simple and we say we have a project we want to publish to, we have a file path where the, the piece of content we want to publish currently lives, in this case connects to live published db.twb, that's over here. And um, then we're going to provide the workbook name that we want this thing to be named on our Tableau server environment. So this doesn't have to match. I just like to make it match because then when I'm troubleshooting stuff uh, down the road, it makes it easy if what I publish to the server matches what I have at that same piece of content named in my local environment. Um, we also have a server address. So this server address is going to be the address of your Tableau server. So um, you don't need to put the HTTP in there or the HTTPS but you do need to, to point to your server because in this case, uh, if you have published an extract file or if you have published a data source connection, you might think that that server address should be the address of where your database is, um, but that's not the case because that uh, you're not actually pointing to the database, you are pointing to a data source that is published on your Tableau server. So that data source exists on your Tableau server. Therefore, the server address that we point to is our server, our Tableau server. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, again, um, if you have embedded credentials, it's a different story, but we're not going there today. So let's just see what this looks like. Project ID is not defined. Man, I'm really struggling with that today. I'm just not running my cells. Uh, so now we've run this publish command. Let's see what kind of response code we get. That's a 201. That means that it was successful. We can even inspect the JSON. So if you're really automating a workflow and you're publishing stuff, 
Uh, you might even want to log that your publishing attempt was successful, or you might want to do something with that information. And so you get feedback from the server about what you just published. So that's good to know. I'm not going to do anything with this uh, in this demo, but you have a bunch of information that gets pushed back to you after a publishing event. And now just for argument's sake, let's say, is this process any different if you're pushing a TWBX file, that's just a zipped file, um, the, the zipped version of a regular .twb, in other words, Tableau workbook. So nothing changes. Uh, the only thing we have to do is change that little file extension. So let's go ahead and run this and see what the response looks like. Big spoilers since it was already printed in my notebook. And we can see that's successful. So uh, just to make sure this isn't a big ruse and I haven't just made this stuff print out, let's go over here and see what exists in my Tableau server environment. All right, so these workbooks now exist. And if we hop into one of these, uh, let's just see that the data source is actually connected to a uh, Gemini prices, one hour data source, that's my BigQuery table. And it's saying it's a live query. So it's querying live through that data source. And let's see what this looks like. Uh, do we actually get any data when we connect to this guy? There goes that live query. And boom, I guess now we're looking at Bitcoin data. Let's see if, uh, if this thing is actually going to respond in real time. But now I'm just, uh, I'm just wasting your time playing around with this dashboard. So let's go back into our notebook. Um, finally, just sign out. So we close out that connection. And that's it for today's video. So what did we do? We published a Tableau workbook using the REST API and we published it. Um, uh, we published content that was connecting to a data source that was already existing in our Tableau server environment. And once again, when passing in the server address, we made sure that we made that, we set that value to the address of our Tableau server, not the address of the underlying data that that data source connects to. So hopefully this is helpful to you. And in future videos, we'll go deeper down the publishing rabbit hole and we'll see what things look like when you are publishing um, content that has embedded credentials inside the workbook because things get a little bit more complex. So see you next time and hope this video was useful for you.